everyone. Welcome to my channel Study at Ease. Hope all of you are safe. Now we are all practicing social distancing, isn't it? We are not going to school but doing distance learning. All five fingers are not the same. Similarly, all the students cannot study the same way. Some of them do need some extra help. So, in my channel, I'll be uploading videos of various math concepts that can be easily followed by the students. So today, in the first class, we are going to start with the topic quadrilaterals. What do you mean by the term quadrilaterals? The word quad is derived from Latin, which means four. So a quadrilateral is nothing but a four-sided polygon. It has four sides and four angles. The sum of all the interior angles is 360 degrees. Quadrilaterals can be subdivided based on their properties. 1. Concave quadrilateral. In a concave quadrilateral, one of the angle, as you see in the figure, one of the angle will be more than 180 degrees. The next subdivision is a convex quadrilateral. As you know, we are familiar with the convex quadrilateral. We are learning that from smaller classes. Now, in the case of a convex quadrilateral, as you can see, all of the interior angles will be less than 180 degrees. Now, some of the common examples of a convex quadrilateral are rectangle, trapezoid, square, etc. Now, let's talk more about convex quadrilaterals. Now, the convex quadrilaterals can be further divided into some of the categories. The first one, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is otherwise called as a trapezium. Now, in the case of a trapezoid, you can see that there is one pair of parallel sides and these parallel sides are called as a base. The other two non-parallel sides are called as the legs. So, in a trapezoid, we have one pair of parallel sides. The second one is a parallelogram. Now, as the name suggests, in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel. It is indicated by these arrows. Also, the opposite sides are equal to. The parallelogram can be further divided into three types. It is based upon the sides and the corner angles. The first one is a rectangle. So, we have all learned rectangle from smaller classes. And we all know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel. Let's talk about the angles. And if you see... The corner angles of a rectangle are all right angles. Right angle means it is all 90 degrees. Now, let's talk about a rhombus. What do you know about a rhombus? A rhombus is a type of a parallelogram in which all the four sides are equal, as you can see in the picture. So, in a parallelogram, if all sides are equal, then we call it as a rhombus. Now, let us talk about the last one which is a square. The square, as you can see, has all sides equal, which is the same as a rhombus. As well as, in a square, all the corner angles are right angles. That means they're all 90 degrees, which is similar to the rectangle. So this is one quick look into the topic quadrilaterals. If you have any doubts in this topic, or if you want me to explain any other topic, please do not hesitate to tell me. You can put your valuable comments in the comment section. And last but not the least, if you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.